This is the adjusted decanomial Tower of Jewels. I would invite the students to look at our decanomial. We have switched out for the squares, the fixed squares, and ask them if they could see any places where they could exchange bead bars to make more squares. They would see the two two bars. If we put those together, they form a square. We could exchange these for our two square. And we could stack our two two squares on top of each other. Moving on, they could see that if we put three three bars together, we could make a three square here, exchange that for a fixed square, and also they could make another fixed square out of three more three bars. If we stacked these ones, We could go on to another example with our four, combining four four bars here, here, and exchanging each of those for a fixed four square. At this time, the students might notice what's being built on the diagonal. are our cubes. Five, five times. Exchanging those for our fixed squares again. and then they could stack them into their cube. At this time, the students may decide it's easier if they exchange our stacks for our actual cubes. Two two squares becomes our two cube. Our three three squares becomes our three cube. Four four squares becomes our four cube. Five five squares becomes our five cube. I would invite the students to continue to do this exchange throughout the entire layout. <laughs> 